Welcome to Gaming News. This is your roundup of everything that you need to know that's happened in the gaming world this week. This is sort of a revival of the series. I'd done five episodes previously, and you guys really liked the series. Basically, I highlight three or four different stories that were most popular in the news last week, and then we have a quick discussion about them, and it gives you guys a chance to have a look at some stories that you may have missed throughout that week. So without further ado, let's kick straight into this. First up today is Far Cry 4 Multiplayer. Ubisoft have come out with various details of things that we can expect to be doing in the PvP side of Far Cry 4. We're looking at 5v5 competitive rounds, three different game modes, two different factions, asymmetrical weapons. So overall, it looks like they're going for a much more in-depth version of multiplayer than what they did with Far Cry 3. There will be 10 maps at launch and the three game modes are as follows. Outpost, Propaganda and Demon Mask. Outpost is basically a variant of Conquest that we saw in the Battlefield series where you have to take control of different outposts across the map and overall whoever gets the most kills and holds those outposts for the longest period of time will win the round. Propaganda is a progressive push based game mode where the attacking team have to infiltrate a base, take it over and then move on to the next one. There will be three of those on each map and if you get all the way to the end and infiltrate that last base you will win the round. However, if the defenders manage to hold it at any point, they will win. And Demon Mask? It seems to be a variant of Capture the Flag. You have to go and capture a mask and take it back to your own base. Now it doesn't say if there will be like two masks, one that the enemy team have to find and one that you have to find, and then you have to defend and attack each one. It doesn't really say, so it could just be a central point. You have to go and take that mask and take it back to your own base. Overall, do sound like three very good game modes, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that multiplayer. Speaking of multiplayer actually, I guess this is a good time to move on to our second story which is the Evolve Big Alpha. That is happening this weekend. As of right now, I can see it on my screen. I am preloading Evolve on Steam. For those of you that don't know, this is made by Turtle Rock Studios, the guys who made the Left 4 Dead series, and it's a 4v1 competitive co-op multiplayer game where you and three of your friends have to take down a massive monster that progressively gets harder and harder to kill. I got a chance to get some hands on with this game at the EGX London event last month and I was really, really impressed with this game. It gives you a sense of immersion that I just haven't felt since the last Left 4 Dead game. I really do believe, and a lot of people do agree as well, that this will be the next big co-op game. So if you haven't got yourself into the big alpha, don't worry. They're allowing people to create videos and multiple people will be able to stream this game over the weekend. And trust me, with the amount of people that are excited for this game, you won't struggle to find yourself some way of getting a look at Evolve this weekend. And moving on with our final story today, we're going to stick with 2K Games and Take 2 Interactive who made Evolve, but we're going to talk about GTA instead. Last month they announced that they shipped 35 million copies on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, which is now last generation, which is frankly a fantastic achievement. Now what they've also announced is a GTA San Andreas remake for the Xbox 360 with HD graphics. Now, that might not sound as exciting as it actually is, but I've been playing this remake for the last month or so on my Nvidia Shield. The remake is just the Android and iOS version of GTA San Andreas that's been ported onto the Xbox 360. So if you remember that San Andreas came out for the original PS2 and the Xbox, that the Shield can run that game and was a HD remake has now been moved forward onto the Xbox 360. Seems like a, a strange move really for, for Rockstar, but ultimately I think it's a really cool move because I've been playing San Andreas for the last month on my Shield and been having an absolute blast with it. It's a great game and it's just something really fun that you can pass the time with. It's good to see that they're moving it onto a proper console too. And something else just to tack on to the end of it, they haven't ruled out doing HD remakes for all of the GTA games in the franchise. That sounds like a really cool prospect. It's not something that they have in planning right now, but it's not something that they've said no to. So let me know down in the comments today, guys, if you'd appreciate seeing remakes of old GTA games in HD 
back on your console and PC again. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. And that just about wraps up gaming news for today, so thank you very much for watching. You can find links in the description to all these different articles on the VG247 website, so make sure you go check out those as well. They've got some great editorial over there. But as I said, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment and a rating if you enjoyed the video. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.